What's up guys, Jade's Corner back here again. And before we get into the video, it is time, it's 2021. So if you guys are interested in these art pieces you see here, they are all now available on the store, ready for purchase. And you guys can click the link in the description. It'll lead you right to my website where you can go to my art store straight from there, hit that tab, purchase any one of these, po any one of these posters for a limited time release from January 1st, 2021, all the way until the end of the year on December 31st. Enjoy. I put a lot of hard work and effort into making these for the 10th 10 year anniversary of Teen Wolf and I hope you guys enjoy. Also before we get into the video I have a Patreon up now that I finished creating back in December. You guys can now go on here and watch all my full reactions of my reaction videos to Supernatural, Vampire Diaries, and, and Teen Wolf and for the Teen Wolf ones especially since YouTube has been taking them down well more so via common MGM all the Teen Wolf reactions are officially on Patreon as of now for good. So if you want to watch the Teen Wolf reactions, you're going to have to go on Patreon. So it's fairly simple to set up. Just go on Patreon. You can become a member today. Join the True Alpha tier for only $5. It's a very reason $5. It's a very reasonable price. And you guys can uh, check out my reactions to every episode of Teen Wolf. So hope you hopefully you guys enjoy. I also have a Mark of Cain tier for Supernatural, all four reactions, as well as a Blood Brothers tier for Vampire Diaries. So hopefully you got, hopefully you guys consider joining joining Patreon, and uh, yeah, enjoy. What's up guys, Jade's Corner back here again for a new Teen Wolf video and in today's video we're going to be talking about everybody's least favorite hunter, Gerard Argent, one of the most hated characters in the Teen Wolf franchise by far by a large margin so if you guys are excited for this video make sure you guys leave a like, also comment your thoughts down below, it's greatly appreciated, it helps this video get out to more people, also subscribe to the channel if you're interested in Teen Wolf content as well as Vampire Diaries and Supernatural, and turn on post notifications, and when you do, to click on all, so that you never miss a future upload from me, and without further ado, let's get into Gerard Argent Explained. Gerard Argent is Allison's grandfather and a werewolf hunter and Gerard is the father of Chris Argent and Kate Argent and his name in the credits is simply listed as Gerard. He is the ruthless patriarch of the Argent family and Gerard instilled hunting in his children and prepared them to face the supernatural. According to Chris, he manipulated Kate into being homicidal which eventually led her to decimate most of the Hale family. He sent the young Chris on a gun trade with the Yakuza members in order to see if he could adapt to the tense situation. When Derek Hale was a teenager, Gerard and Chris led a hunting party to avenge two of their own. When the Alpha Deucalion arranged a meeting of, of the two groups to talk about peace, Gerard turned the tables on everyone and killed Deucalion's betas and his team of hunters to make it look like Deucalion ambushed them. He blinded the Alpha before leaving the scene. He would return to Beacon Hills later to avenge his daughter, his daughter's death. Revenge was a, the revenge was a cover-up, and his real agenda was to receive the bite of an alpha in order to cure cancer. During this time, he attempted to manipulate Allison the way he did Kate, to take control of the Canima and to have hunters forsake the code to achieve his goal. His plan failed after Scott McCall and Deaton switched to cancer pills with Mountain Ash, which caused his body to reject the bite violently. It cured Gerard's cancer, but he suffered what appeared to be a prolonged rejection marked by a constant flow of black goo from his mouth and nose. Chris, Chris Allison, and Scott visited, visited him later to get information on Deucalion and the Druids when both the Alpha Pack and the Duroc were causing trouble. Gerard was healed from his prolonged illness by Chris by adjusting yellow wolfsbane flowers in order to stop the flow and return to normal, and Chris and Scott needed his help to stop the Dread Doctors from reviving the Beast of Jevedan. 
Gerard planned to double cross them, but the duo knew it would happen and they turned on him first. Chris shot him in the arm, preventing him from doing any real harm. Still vengeful towards Scott, believing to be responsible for his family's definite his family's decimation and Chris's betrayal, Gerard used Tamora Monroe and the Inducate's desire for freedom to start a genocide against all supernaturals. His plan failed when Scott's allies came to his aid and the Inducate became trapped in Mountain Ash. His children confronted him of his his children confronted him, confronted him of his failure as Chris leaves, Kate transforms and attacks him as he screams in fear and is killed off screen. And that is where we end off Gerard and Teen Wolf from seasons two all the way to six. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I also wanna let you know, comment your thoughts down below as mentioned before. It's greatly appreciated. As mentioned before, helps this video get out to more people. Also subscribe to the channel if you're interested in Teen Wolf content as well as Vampire Diaries, as well as Supernatural content. And when you do, as mentioned before, Turn on post notifications, click on all so that you never miss a future upload from me. And without further ado, this is Jade's Corner. I'm going to get out of here. Make sure you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace, love, and positivity as always. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.